Welcome to Walmart, everyone, where the all-stars work. I'm here doing my Christmas shopping. Uh, a couple nights ago, I went to a live nativity scene. It was like a Christmas festival. It was really cool. They actually had real camels and little goats and stuff like that. But I was chatting with a lady next to me, and at one point she asked me, she's like, are you all ready for Christmas? And I thought for a couple seconds and then realized, no, no, I haven't even started shopping yet. We got the tree up, which is good. So today I'm here, I'm going to be doing some Christmas shopping. The Quins have told me what they wanted. Uh, hopefully they have what they need. It's December 12th, so I guess it's not too last minute, but I bet for a lot of you, this is probably considered to be last minute. Are you ready for Christmas? And if so, how long have you been ready? And do you ever buy stuff last minute? To me, this is kind of par. I usually kind of forget it's coming and then all of a sudden it's mid-December and I go buy the stuff I need. And hopefully they have everything. If not, there are other Walmarts to go to. Hopefully I don't have to go all the way out to Wyoming where Shaden works, but if I have to, I will. I'm not bike shopping, but this is pretty cool. This actually reminds me of Landon's first bike. So Landon's first bike was purchased by Shaden. So Shaden was probably like eight or nine. He saved up a lot of money and bought Landon the coolest bike. That's, Shaden's always been an amazing brother and Landon in turn is an amazing brother to the five littles we now have. But this is kind of cool. It says, try me. I'm trying to figure this out. Press the button, press the button behind the eyes. Um, just kind of filling around here. Sure does something. You see how easily I get distracted, right? Oh, there it is. That's pretty cool. So why are we here, guys? That's right, we're Christmas shopping for the Littles. I went over my list. Their list changes like every few weeks, but the most recent one they actually gave to me in the video when we decorated the tree. I asked them what they want and they said, Dad, What do you want? Ultimate, a biggest Hot Wheels to fit all my Hot Wheels. Are you excited about I that? I want a tea party set. A tea party set? That'd be yeah, cool. Tea party I set. want a Barbie dream house. Wow. I want, I want a Barbie doll. A Barbie doll? Barbie. Logan, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, I want Hot Wheels City. Hot Wheels City? I want Hot Wheels. Okay. So I'm basically looking for some Barbie stuff, like a Barbie house. Um, I need to get some Hot Wheels stuff. And Logan wants a racetrack. Uh, we had a really cruddy one that didn't work. I want a high quality racetrack. And the Hot Wheels stuff, um, it's pretty fun. I don't want the crazy loop-de ones though that never stay put together. I'm wanting something solid, if that makes sense. I don't know if there's a crazy loop-de one I can show you. So you know what I'm talking about. Because I know now you guys are wondering, what do you mean by crazy loop-de? We got some cray cray crazy loop-de right here. So this is like a flimsy little it's still a $50 set but these loops and stuff they just kind of fall apart this one this Mario one might be a better go ooh and it's on sale I'm gonna remember that one. We, we might come back to this. As a parent, it's funny because sometimes you'll look at some items and just looking at the toy makes my parent brain just explode. Um, maybe it's a little different with the synergy of five five-year-olds and maybe you'd get your little five-year-old something like this. If I had just Daisy, I would. But if you can see up here, hope you can see it. All these little pieces of food, uh, a, little, a little fork, a blender, all these tiny, tiny little things. If I just had Daisy, we would never lose any of this. It would be organized. She cleans up everything, but like this right here, here. My feet hurt thinking about it. I'm gonna be stepping on these things. Not gonna do that. Um, even these things kind of fall apart. Hopefully I can find like a big sturdy playhouse. I see a try me button as you see I'm reaching. Let's see what this does. It, I, I, is that an ice noise? I, I'm not impressed with that one. These are good stocking stuffers and they're on sale, they're on clearance. The thing with these balls is they end up, like one person ends up getting what they want and then the other kids don't. But if they look cool, yeah, these don't even look cool. Like what the heck are these, trading cards? That's probably why they're on clearance. Let's keep moving. There is just so much stuff, guys. I think I'll probably end up doing my shopping in like at least two trips. I think I'm just gonna get the big items today, the major ones that the Quints asked for, and then I'll do a stuffing stalker adventure. Stalker? A stuffing stalker. Those are the stockings that they, they stalk you. They follow you around. A stuff, what is it? What is the actual word? Stuffing, stuffing, stocking, stocking stuffers. I did it. Keep that one, Kyle. Got some dress ups, which are so cute. I, I love that the, the girls love playing dress ups, but lately they haven't been wearing them. Like they don't dress up in them, but then they beg me to wear them to school. And the fabric on these, it's always a no-go. So I don't think I'm gonna do those. What we gotta find is we gotta find the big girl playhouse. That'd be like one, if I can knock that out today, that'd be awesome. 
Okay guys, I found the right aisle and I like getting things done quick. I think these are gonna be the two big items. I think for the boys, the big item is gonna be this. Now I know what you're thinking, that's pretty loopy, Skylar. But just looking at that gets the five-year-old and me excited. So I think the boys would love this. And it's got like all of these places for a car. Hope you can see all that. I hopefully had my camera set up well. And then over here, not this one, that's like the ultimate Barbie house. It has a slide, it has everything. 75 pieces, not loving that. But I do have the older boys, so maybe they can help me on, on Christmas Eve uh, working on some of that. So, and uh, it's only $130. Maybe the boys is cheaper. $109, all right. Yeah, that is definitely the whole kit and caboodle. This is the whole Barbie wonderland. I think the slide's really cool. And uh, I'll just get them some Barbies to go with it. That's gonna be cool. Give you a closer look at the boys too. Yeah, with that big dragon on top, the car storage, that's too cool. No. <laughs> okay, we are flowing with this shopping trip. It's, it's going quick, which I love to do. I love to get in, get out. I found some, some good Barbies, and Barbies aren't actually too expensive. So I'll show you some of the stuff we got. So we got swim Barbies. With that house, it's gonna be a big party. So I think the swim Barbies will be good. They can go down that big slide. I've got a smattering of Kens. We've got soccer Ken, which they'll love because they love watching Shade and play soccer. We've got swim short Ken, and that'll be cool for the pool party. And then I saw this, I'm gonna do it. Man bun Ken. We'll just see how it goes with the party when you have man bun Ken there. Should be fun. And finally, I have a smattering of Barbies. Soccer Barbie to hang out with Soccer Ken. She could probably beat him. She looks really good. And then I've got like a princess one and a nurse one. I think Daisy will really love the nurse one. So bam, we are rolling. I just need some Hot Wheels and maybe another couple little sets or something for the boys. And I will have the bulk of the Christmas shopping done. Okay, so we're gonna get a couple of these. And then I'm also gonna get that. That's kind of cool. We can put all the cars in there and keep them organized. Lincoln will love that because he'll, he'll cart it around everywhere he goes. All right, my cart is getting really full, but I found a couple other little things. Lincoln is like obsessed with science and he loves any toys that light up. He loves it a lot. This is kind of science E, and it puts uh, like the solar system up on the ceiling. So I think you'll like that. And then I'm gonna get another little track set. I think this fits kind of what Logan was wishing in his little heart because he can race Mario and Luigi. And this one doesn't look too complicated to put together and it's on sale. So we're gonna get this one. Okay, I'm going through my mental holiday checklist here. And I think that we pretty much have everything. I'm sure I'll be back for a couple little items in the next few days to get everything wrapped up. However, the one major item I haven't found yet is a tea party set. And I've been through all the aisles and I have not seen anything like that. So hopefully they have some sort of tea party set and then I will be good for the day. Okay, they've got this little Minnie Mouse thing, which I don't think that looks really cool. I, I want something a little more fancy. And then on this side, we've got this, but this is a leapfrog. I think this is for toddlers maybe. Is that a toddler one? Just try me. Not working, not a good sign. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm actually picturing more of like an elegant little tea party set. So maybe I'll do that on Amazon. And then I probably need one more or two more little gifts for the boys just so everything's even. So they get the same amount to, uh, of gifts to open. So uh, I think this was a, a mission accomplished today. I'm going to go check out. Then uh, I'm, I'm almost done. December 12th. I'm like 13 days early, kids.